what's up guys so today i'm going to show you some walkthrough around the binance nft marketplace and how you can get your nft listed on the binance nft marketplace so i'm going to be using the binance mobile application you can use binance desktop application or their official website and you can get their desktop application from the binance website or you get the mobile application from google play store or your app store whichever one you're using and so today i'm going to be using my binance mobile application so getting started um i'm gonna click on binance nft and there is going to take me to the nft marketplace remember that i have a binance account which is verified and i'm using only one binance account to access every product and services and function within the binance ecosystem so I don't need to have multiple Binance account in order to get started or some other function or functionality in order to get started. So my only Binance account that I have, which has been verified, I'm going to use it to launch into the NFT marketplace. So here is the Binance NFT. As you can see, you need to have a very strong and good internet connection so that everything is going to load smoothly. So here are some NFT. As you can see, we have trending. And we have recommended collection okay guys so in order to go to our user center you can click here and we have gaming IGO, marketplace ministry buses tutorial and frequently asked questions english and usd so if you click on the head icon we have my email and it is showing that i am verified so as you can see my account is a verified account so please endeavor to verify your account before you start launching into binance products and services we have user center we have history and we have account limit so i'm going to click on user center and it's going to take it take me to my user center and um, yeah it's loading so it's gonna see anonymous d7 wd i have my user id there my binance user id i have setting so yeah we have nft assets we have nft assets it's gonna show here we have two basic categories of collections and we have on sales we have other like mystery bosses and we have crypto assets and we have favorite so today we're going to be talking on this nft asset so on my collection i have one collection and nft in my collection but i have nothing on sale so as you can see what whichever you have is going to show there if you have collections the number is going to show there so it shows i have one and on sale is going to show there zero on sale if i have anything on sale it is going to show there that i have this number of nft on sale so as you can see this is the nft that i, NFT that I have and the name is binance stones for so that's it as you can see down here we have deposit and withdraw but that's for another day today is just to show you the basic how you can go around listing it since i already have an nft here i'm going to try to list this one so you can see and here we have list i've clicked on list so there is gonna load we just have to have some patience and now we have the collection list nft that's the name binance done for so that's the contract address and the token id so yeah we have select your sell mode we have set price and we have highest bidder so you can choose to set a standard price or you can choose highest bidder so like auction i'm going to set a bid so you need to choose the minimum bid and i'm gonna see okay and also the currency that you wanted the coin so i'm going to change it from bnb to busd so you can either choose bnb busd or ethereum so i'm going to use busd so i want this to start for minimum bit of 50 busd so that's it auction a bit optional and the fee so you can read it one percentage of the total sale will be paid to binance as a platform fee an additional one percent will also be paid to the original creator beneficiary as a royalty payment we'll get more to that later when we start getting to deposit and minting so minimum market up we have five percent and you can get it when the beta's bid is allowed to be greater than the minimum price increase if it is less than the minimum price increase a bit cannot be made so you understand what is going on there 
so we go to the next auction starts in last immediately after the review takes about four to eight hours for binance to review and list your nft so the binance team is going to review your nft manually and they're going to approve it or disapprove it that's listing it for you and when they want to list it they're going to send you a message that your nft has been lifted listed <laughs> pardon me that's like uh email that has been listed and equally unlisted either way so custom time because the earliest list time that can be set is 12 hours after submitting for review so list immediately after so the network binance matching inspiring date there we have expiry date 2021 so no less than 12 hours no more than seven days please be aware that once your nfc is listed in auction there are limited chance of delisting and we will reject your delisting if they are already other users bidding on it so please endeavor to always read all of this or most of this most of this stuff that you see here eh, by now don't just put them there for fancy or for formality you need to read them in order to get some information and guidance when you're going about listing or working in within the binance space so that you shouldn't fall in a trap and you start blaming binance or you start blaming others or you start looking for where to head to where to what to do which you could have just read some little paragraph and understand everything so we have copyright fee here please endeavor to read most of the stuff before you can come go ahead and list anything or even go ahead and complete any transaction so there we have our nft as you can see it's a very short process that won't take you more than two minutes to list now i'm going to submit the i've submit list detail the title is binance done for minimum bit 50 busd man x1 total price 50 busd so that's it the fee two percent do i want to confirm this if i don't want i'm going to cancel it but since i want to yes i confirm and there it's going to take a little bit of minute and there finance nft action and scene that's the time so delete nft if you want to delete it and that's it our nft is there so binance team is going to review and publish our nf and list our nft and that's it is going to last for the period of time or the duration that you set if it does not sell by that time it's going to be delisted and you can list it again that's one fun thing with binance so that's basically the little things that you, you can do and um, since we're just getting started on our next video we're going to see how we can deposit our nft into binance and list it so we already see how i can list our nft from entering to the binance mobile application to going into the nft marketplace and coming to the listing to all the user center and list an nft so there we have listed an nft so let's try to go back to the user center and there as you can see collection is zero on sale is one so my nfc have moved from collection to on sale so that's it and <laughs> it's very easy it's very easy to go about it marketplace and these are the various stuff in the binance nft marketplace so you can just play around it and see what goes there if you want to buy or whatever stuff you want to do so this video is just to show you a short walkthrough on how you can get around the binance nft marketplace and list your nft please i'm going to leave a link down in the description below that you can learn more and if you don't have an account you can use the link down in the description below to create a binance account and get verified and start trading immediately binance nft marketplace is very secure and it's very fast and it's one of the largest nft marketplace out there that you can securely and easily get around and the user interface is very good so don't get missed out okay guys see you next time for the next one thanks